Hey y'all, it's Carol Sue. Welcome back to my home. Today we have a Dollar Tree haul. It's the first time I've went in five, six months to Dollar Tree. So I went yesterday with my husband, so I'm gonna do his haul first. What he he had his own cart, I have my own cart, and we can see the difference between what he gets at Dollar Tree and what I get at Dollar Tree. So yeah, get grab your cup of coffee because this is gonna probably be two different videos because it's like $250 worth of stuff. I mean, we went crazy. And Dollar Tree didn't have bags yesterday, like grocery bags. So our stuff got put in these clear Ziploc bags and boxes. I got a lot of boxes. I mean, it was horrible. It took us about 35, 40 minutes to, to check out because they were trying to find boxes and everything. So yeah. So let's get started. I'm back y'all. <laughs> I have forgot the thumbnails, so I just got part of the haul. I still got half a floor over here full of my Dollar Tree stuff. So we're gonna get started. Like I said, Dollar Tree, we're out of bags. So we got these Ziploc ones. So we're gonna get down and dirty with this today. All right, let me move some cheers. I got some cheers over here and some cheers over here. That way, when I go through it, I can just throw it off to the side. Y'all know my husband and his barbecue pork rinds. There's one, two, three, five, eight bags of barbecue pork rinds. Yes, he went through them all. This is my husband's part of the haul. These are the... How many ounces? 2.625 ounces and they're the Brim's barbecue. They come in hot barbecue or plain and we love the hot. I mean we love the barbecue, sorry. Don't want no hot. And they got eight bags of these. I don't have enough cabinet space. Because y'all know that's my only one cabinet for food and then we got one right there. So it usually sits on the counter until he eats them all. I've got eight bags of those. Next, we got these uh, cherry pies. There are mini cherry pies, and they come in, how many you get? Three, three for dollar twenty. Everything so far is dollar twenty-five. I'll tell you if it changes. Uh, I don't think he bought anything that wasn't dollar twenty-five. Uh, so dollar twenty-five for cherry pies, and you have to check these, whether you check them at Dollar Tree or you check them at Dollar General. They always pass the date. I don't know if people just don't buy them, but he was able to find, out of all they had, he was able to find, I think he said these, where is, August 30th. So that was the only ones that was not out of date. So he got four cherries. I think they come in peach, cherry, and apple. And he's happy about these bags. So he's got four of those. We're in my kitchen today, so y'all know. Just use the mess. We get all of our LED light bulbs from Dollar Tree. Half since they came out. And the best ones to get, they're in a new, oh, they, are they a two pack? Oh, these are two packs. Did he check the receipt? There's always been one. Let me see. Uh, there's the bulb, but I didn't get the box for it. They always come in a one pack. Here, let me, I'll pause this in my, when I edit it, and I'll go get one. Okay, I had to go in my laundry room, and I just noticed we had three rows of these boxes. So I think there's about, what, I don't know, 24 in a box. So get the daylight. The daylight is a cool, white, bright white, um, for like, if you wanna see, if you don't get the warm, the soft, uh, it's not as bright. But I also use these outside in my yard displays for Christmas and Easter. Uh, so they do work good for floodlights. Uh, we also have them in our security lights. But I'm gonna have to check my receipt. It's in one of these bags, boxes I should say. Uh, if It's a two pack. And if y'all ever bought them from there, you know they only come in a one pack. So he got, let's see. I'm telling you, we had to carry stuff like the popcorn here. 
we were carrying in our you know hands because they didn't even give us a bag for the popcorn. They wanted to, to save these after they seen how many we used. So one, two, three, six, nine, ten. He got ten boxes, and there's two in each box, so he got twenty. I wonder if you noticed these were the two packs, and they are the sixty watts, and they are the daylight. See right there, you got a really small print right there, right there. Daylight. Or this one you can see bigger. So I'm I'm curious to see how much these were. They were the dollar twenty-five. Okay, I'm back. Gotta pick my list up because I didn't get I didn't get a lot of stuff on my list. Okay, let me see. Light bulbs. I should find them. Light bulbs. Dollar twenty-five a pack. So y'all better run to Dollar Tree instead of paying a dollar twenty-five for one. You're getting dollar twenty-five for two. Mm. I wonder if he noticed that. So I might send him back and get more if they got more. But yeah, I spent two hundred and fifteen dollars. Let me. I'll fold down the, the little thing. Okay, I'm going to walk over to you if we all can see this. $215. That's what happens when you leave Carol Sue at home and she don't go to Dollar Tree. So I guess... I'm joking, y'all. <laughs> okay, so my husband uses uh, Sensodyne toothpaste. And that stuff is just too expensive. So I tried about a year ago for the sensitive, extreme sensitive from Dollar Tree. And he loved it. He said it works just like the Sensodown. I don't know about whitening teeth or nothing like that. It says natural white, freshens breath, all that. But uh, so he got one, two, six, six tubes of that. Got on my husband. He's he's he might buy ten things or five things, but he's got fifty items. I think this is about the only things he didn't buy multiple of. He got the Barbersol uh, soothing aloe shaving cream I guess he just needed one because I could have got him one from Walmart and he got the uh, the Dollar Tree the extra care smooth glide shaving gel because he's a gel person so he got that and this is all my husband's I'm probably going to go down to the I need my chair here Okay, he got his popcorn. It's eight ounces, dollar twenty-five. I love this stuff. Four bags of that. Might as well go and give this little place from my camera. I do gotta go through my cabinets. I go through my cabinets every season and get rid of food that we haven't ate. I give it to the neighbors if they want it or I donate it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Get my watches. We get our hand soap from the Dollar Tree. He got the liquid antibiotic antibacteria soap. It's the spa soap for Dollar Twenty-Five. He got two of those. We have about 20 something bottles of shampoo and body wash on the floor in the bathroom in there because we buy so, he buys so much you don't want to ever run out. Oh. And to refill them, he got the big ones. See, these are 16 ounces and the refills are 32 ounces. He normally doesn't get the same kind when he does that. He got two of those. So we got two, two, two of each of those. And then he loves, him and the grandsons love the White Rain 3-in-1 Body Wash Shampoo and Conditioner. And they love the Ocean Wave. So he got, and he didn't need no more of these because I'm telling you, I could probably get a picture and insert it. So he got four bottles of those. I'm going to start saying, maybe I need to stack those back in there, but no, I got to go put them up. Okay. You know he had to get fiddle faddle because nobody carries fiddle faddle but Dollar Tree. Okay. Or Walmart does, I should. Oh, time out, y'all. I let my little Rain Rain in. She's, 
She's coming in through the patio door instead of doggy door or kitty door. Come on, Grandma. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yes, you are bad, kitty. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's, she's sharpening her nails on my rug outside. Come on. Come on, Grandma. Come on, it's too hot outside. Grandma, come on. Good girl. Ooh. Hopefully I remember to edit that out. Okay. We got four boxes of Fiddle Faddle. $1.25 each. And boy, I'm craving some of this. I like uh, Crunchy Munch also. I think it's for, yeah. Okay. I made homemade macaroni and cheese the other day. And I got the generic shell cheeses from uh, Walmart. And they get really, really big. So my husband did not like that. So he got him a box of plain old craft macaroni and cheese, the old powdery stuff. See, he's got one. We was hungry after we went. When we went, we were hungry, and I wanted to go before supper. And you know what that happens with that? My husband's been out of sunflower seeds for a few days. So he gets the big sizzling bacon. I get the big supreme taco. And I still got mine from the last haul when he went. But he doesn't have no more because he when he mows grass and stuff he eats them like i said he throws the whole thing in his mouth and spits each seed out i don't know how he does it but he got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19 and 20. So we got 20 bags of sunflower seeds. I got this and I thought I had it in the cabinet. Let me throw this out of the way, y'all. It goes over here. Oh yeah, his so his went fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my food to this video. Let me throw all his seeds back in here because I'm going to have to stack those. When I, when I store his sunflower seeds or mine, I let them fall to one side. See how they're fat on one side? And if you just store them, take the fat end to the skinny end like that. That's the way I do my gravy mixes and everything. And they won't fall over. So you take the next fat one, put it on the skinny side. Like that. And you keep stacking them and then they don't slide over. They don't fall and all that stuff. But I've been doing that for a little, so many years, but I don't even remember how many years. Wait, wait, you're not going back outside right now, baby. Okay. Let me get this food out of the way. Throw it down there. And then I'm going to get my food. Let me put you here, I guess. See my little pumpkin? I try to put a little Halloween into it. Right there. I'll let you sit there. I got the ice, Twisted Gypsy, hey Sherry. She's been getting these and I only like orange and strawberry so they didn't have them last time my husband went. So this time I found them. I got, I think it's two orange and got four strawberries. I got one orange and one strawberry in a refrigerator cooling down because I, I don't want to try them hot. So I got four strawberry. So this is Starburst Ice, and only got five calories, zero sugar, with vitamins and uh, antioxidants. Woo! So I got four strawberry and two orange. And there's the orange. They had lemon and then some weird flavor. I don't even remember what it was. I never seen Starburst in a flower flavor, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mine. My grandson already got one of these. The only thing he asked for, Ray Ray, honey, let me go outside, was ice ammo crackers, ammo cookies. So I got him a bag of ice ammo cookies, and they are eight ounces. It says they have zero trans fats, but they got 130 calories per serving. And serving is nine cookies. So I got three of these. He's got one already. He'll be happy now. He can have them. I wanted to try this popcorn. It's Brim's also. 
it is five ounces and it's the kettle corn sweet and salty so it's a little pack so i got some up and my hubby got these cookies the last time he went the vanilla cream and to me they taste almost like um vanilla oreos y'all know what those taste like that's what they almost taste and this, there's a lot of these so you get a good serving and it says approximately 13 portions Per pack and a pack is three cook a portion is three cookies so hey Wayne Wayne here oh what you want baby y'all see my rain 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 here watch I'll show you something there she goes what baby give me this out what that's when she wants a treat let me get her a treat y'all let me get my pickle jar I save my pickle jars. We use our pickle jars. We use our spaghetti jars as my coffee drink. There you go, baby. Good girl. <laughs> You're this stinky. Let me time out, y'all. So they don't make that stuff where it smells good. Okay, I'm back. I wash my hands after touching that cat treats because they stinky. They're good. The cats love them, but they're good. Mama's gonna turn you around, honey. Tell you no more treats for right now. Okay. My family has been eating these little pecan twists. They're pecan uh, twists or twirls, sweet rolls, for as long as I can remember. I, it's been really a long time. So what I do is I take a little powdered sugar, put just a little bit of water in there. Some people use milk, but I just use water. Uh, and put it in there now warm these up either in the microwave or in my ninja air fryer thing you know just get them warm and I pour that all over top of it like it's drizzled like you have uh, cinnamon buns and the kids and the grandkids all of these my husband has. so I got two of these dollar 25 and we love our pretzels this is my favorite now, I, I don't like the penny sticks from Dollar Tree that you get the the normal twisted pretzels. Now the ones that's got the honey mustard, they're good, but the sticks and the twisted ones, I don't care for. They're really hard. So I like the Snyder's brand. So I got the mini twist. It's a mini pretzel. I guess I got two of those, and these are dollar twenty-five also. I got the sticks. They all say they're low on fat. Because I sit around and munch on these while I'm eating my, drinking my iced coffee or if I'm working on a computer editing videos, I'm crunching. I have found myself lately when I'm reading my book crunching these. Next is the, the little square ones. They had the butter snaps. And I wanted to try the butter ones. I'm, I'm used to the regular ones, but they had the butter snaps. So I'm going to try these. So I got those. And as long as I can remember, far back as I can remember, I've always loved ice oatmeal cookies and I always buy them from the Dollar Tree. So at least 25, 30 years of buying the ice oatmeal cookies from the Dollar Tree. It's been so long I don't even remember anymore. But I love dipping them in my coffee, my hot coffee. I don't like complain, but I really love them in my coffee. So I just got one pack of those. What baby. And y'all know I love my dill pickle chips. From Zaps, well, they had Creo, sweet Creo onion. So I want to try that. We love onions. We eat onions raw. We I, you know, saute onions and caramelize them. I make two of them. Get two big fat onions and, and we we eat them all up. But we love our onions. So that is my part of the food haul. I mean, it's a lot. Y'all have seen my table. It's a lot. So I'm going to end the video here because I don't want it to be long because I know people don't like watching long videos and so I'll just get them out as soon as I can. But I hope everybody's having a great week. Today is, what is today, Thursday the 15th? August 15th, so Thursday I believe, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get this up probably Saturday or next week, I'm not sure. But I'm going to get this up as soon as I can. And I hope everybody's getting excited about fall coming. Y'all know I am. I'm in one of my old, almost vintage, what is it, uh, bottom 2005 to 
2008, somewhere around there, I bought all these shirts from Walmart. It's an old shirt uh, from Walmart. And my Timu shorts. I don't mean my Timu shorts. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my haul. And like I said, I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm gonna get started on my haul, see what I got from the Dollar Tree. I have a long list. I mean, long list. It's not marked out stuff that I got. It's for a highlight for I wouldn't miss anything. And I'm telling you, homemade for, it's, yeah, happiness is homemade for Jennifer. She showed us all the stuff that hers and Louisville has, the Dollar Trees. And I want all this Halloween stuff. I am just dying to get my Halloween stuff out. And mine didn't have nothing almost. I mean, there's a couple of things on my list. But I want all these pumpkins. I've told y'all before. I want these pumpkins and stuff. I got a lot of decorating. And I got a lot of ideals that's swarming in my head. And I want to get on this. So, yeah. I hope you like my haul today. And I just released one today from my Timu Halloween haul. And I got another one coming next week. So, yeah. I hope to see y'all again soon. Y'all love you. Bye.